Hello my awesome people, Skyhawk here. Have you ever wondered why I can run like 40, 50 mods on my uh, KSP modded playthrough? Well, here's the answer to that. There's three things you need to be able to do this. Three things to make this work good. The first thing is setting up KSP to actually handle this. Now, if you're running without a graphics card, um, or with very low graphics in like say a laptop this could be an issue uh, this what this video mainly applies to graphics cards uh, but I haven't tested it on computers without graphics cards so you may get better performance out of this I'm not completely positive but the first thing you need to do is go to your KSP save location uh, this is usually under your program files x86 uh, steam Steam Apps, Common, Kerbal Space Program. And then you're going to want to find the ksp.exe. Not the ksp64 or the launcher, just ksp.exe. So next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to right click. You're going to want to create a shortcut. And then you're going to want to edit the properties. Now in here, you're going to see target. You're going to want to put a uh, space and then a dash force dash open GL. This runs uh, KSP on a different kind of a uh, rendering process that uses less memory up to a whole gig less. And then you're going to hit apply and OK. Now you can move this to your desktop and rename it what you want. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to want to download two additional mods. First thing is you're going to want to download uh, KSP Mod Admin. This makes installing mods about a billion times easier. Here it is on Curse. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, and you're going to need to do a little bit of installations on it, but uh, here's stuff I'm running right now. Uh, it's not the mo all the mods I'm using for, uh, this is a slightly different version than my playthrough, but uh, it looks like this. To add a mod, you hit add, you search, you find the mod you want, um, you hit open, you give it a name if you want, you hit add. Um, and it's in there. And then you just hit all mods. Do not hit launch Kerbal Space Program underneath this. This will not open up the correct file location. You need to run it using this shortcut. This is the only way that it'll work with, uh, I mean this may work for you, but this is the only one that runs with the additional graphics uh, set up. So, use this one. Now the mod, uh, there's going to be a mod you want to add to this list, and that mod is Active Texture Management, and this definitely does save RAM. Uh, it compresses all the textures for uh, as, for anything as the game loads, which is awesome. And there's been a lot of hype about this mod, and it is indeed a great mod. So, uh, yeah, this definitely will help you be able to stall more mods. So, again, you're going to need to, in review here, you're going to want to create a uh, shortcut with these properties. So, dash force open GL. Um, you're going to want to download KSP Mod Admin. And you're going to want to use Active Texture Management. So with that, you should be able to run just about anything on KSP. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you found this tutorial, and I'm only saying this on tutorials, if you found this tutorial helpful, give me a thumbs up or uh, leave a comment saying what else you'd like to see. Um, and yeah, have a great day. See you later, massive people.